try to keep them clean, but they're here every day. <laughs> How long have they been posted? Well, we got here, what, 6.30? It was about 20 uh, it, Yeah, it was, it was about uh, 6.25. That's, that's about what they've been doing. They've been doing 26 fish and 630. Um, I wouldn't call it poor. They do have, they can see. Um, and better than is commonly thought. They do rely on their radar, their echolocation, to find that, uh, to find insects and to forage. And when they're foraging, the, uh, some of you may be able to hear the squeaks that they're right now. It's fairly high. Some people can't hear it, but uh, that that those um, vocalizations are probably social calls to each other. That's not necessarily echolocation. The echolocation signals that they use are up around 40,000 hertz, which is well beyond that. And someone was asking about faces earlier. Was that you asking about faces? Well, one of the reasons that they have different faces is uh, the bats actually will, the different bats uh, will use different frequencies for echolocation. So if you, we've got a little, I've got a little bat amplifier that can uh, translate the, the high frequency pitches into a, a range that I can hear. And if I tune it into different frequencies, uh, I can't necessarily do it because you, be, you have to be fairly knowledgeable about how to do it. And I haven't, I haven't really gained that skill yet, but you can tell what type of bat is you're picking up by what frequency it, it, uh, it's echolocating at. So their faces are shaped to create different pitches. So they'll have different wrinkles in their nose and longer snouts or, or pudgy snouts. And part of what that is about is, is creating a different uh, pitch. And we'll also have different years. Some of that is what insects they're trying to hunt, what they, they predominantly hunt. Oh, much. Yeah. This is a trickle. Um, actually, I'm going to have to get up and down. One thing about them being s such a social, I mean, the, the departure here obviously makes you dizzy. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. Right, I've been like picking one up and they come and they make this circle and then they all show up. Yeah, you, know, you wonder if it's the same bat that, that is sort of initiates the departure. <laughs> Just don't know. They'll, they'll actually send out about a hundred chirps per second. So they're going, they're chirping very quickly so that they can adjust. You see bugs fly around. Yeah, the you keep track of them. You're going to have send and, uh, and then what they do is they scoop it up with their tail membrane and their wings and then stick their head down and pick it up. Yeah. And bite it. And now different bats do it differently. Yeah. Free tail this sounds like it'd be. Uh, Panther. Mm -hmm. Katie, can you see them way in the back? The same one. <laughs> <laughs> 